how to use plan grid as a complete beginner hi guys in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can use plan grid to create your perfect home so the first thing that i want you guys to do is come over here onto the website which is called plangrid.com and once you're over here what i want you guys to do is just simply sign up so, so click on the sign up button at the top right corner over here or you can just simply download the app on your windows 10 or higher i would recommend using the application as it is a lot faster but for the sake of this video i'm just simply going to continue this tutorial onto the web browser so simply click on the sign up button and this is how the web page will look like and over here on this page you simply have to enter in some basic details about yourself so you have to basically enter in your first name your last name your email address your password and then just simply click on the sign up button and that is basically it so i'm gonna go ahead and do that right now and i will catch you guys in just a second so now that we have signed up this pop-up appear and the windows will look something like this and now this pop-up is going to ask you a few different questions such as what is your title your company name your company type your industry and your phone number then you can just simply enter in all these details and then you just simply have to click on done so choose your title from all these different options over here so let's just say that i'm an architect and my phone number this is my phone number and then just simply enter in the name of your company and then choose your company type and let's just say that our company type is basically it revolves around architect and design and our company speciality is architecture and our industry falls into residential category and now once you've answered all your questions just simply click on done and now over here you basically have two ways to get started you can add your own plans or documents or more or you can start with a free populated sample project so if you want to add a new project just simply click on new project and you'll be able to create a new project but for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to click on the sample project so that you can have a, an idea of how you will be able to create your own projects and how you will be able to edit them and etc and etc so simply click on the sample project wait for it to load up and this is how the website will look like now over here as you can see we have a couple of things going on over here so let me go over them briefly one by one so over here on the left side this column over here we have our sheets now this is very very important for your home these are basically blueprints for your homes or your apartments or other company buildings or corporate buildings for whichever reason you're trying using a plan grid so keep that in mind all your blueprints and sheets will be stored over here and then down below you have tasks so over here these are some of the tasks that you can create or and as you can see since i'm in a sample project my tasks have been added already so we have electrical tasks wood framing tasks glass tasks paint uh, basically all the tasks that are related to a construction or blueprint so as you can see this is the electrical task and that it's the existing connection at the power pole has been overgrown with weeds please clean and install new wires slash coverings where needed so as you can see this is a task that is really very really important and over here on the right side we can see on the sheet where this task lies and we can edit them and down below we can assign this task to a specific person and down below we can add in a person who should know about this and should oversee this we can basically watching this and then down below we can add the location and start date and due date and stuff like that basically all the other details that should be done so you can create different tasks and you can assign different people to those tasks and assign different dates and stuff like that now how do you basically create a task so you can create a task by simply clicking on the create a task button and over here on the right side just simply enter in the title of the task then change the statements of that task then just change the type of that task assign the person who you want on this task and then assign a person who you think should be watching this task overseeing this task and then location start date due date and stuff like that and then once you've done that just simply click on create and you will have created a tasks so that is a very very useful place and then over here at the top we also have stamps now as you can see we can create different stamps for different type of tasks so for wood framing as you can see this is a very simple stamp with a wf and a wood framing this is the title acoustical ceilings ac caulking kc cleaning needed 
CN and stuff like that. You can also create specific stamps for specific tasks as well. And over here, this is the overview about of the tasks. And over here, we will see that how many tasks are open and how many are in review, how many are pending and how many are closed. These are all the creation dates of the task and stuff like that. Basically, this is the overview of all the tasks that are available as of right now. So once we're done with tasks, down below we have field report. Now this is where you create and manage individual form templates and folders for your team. All changes made here will reflect under the report section. So basically over here, you're going to be able to write reports about the day or about the project on that day, whatever should have happened and what didn't happen and stuff like that. So let's just click on this sample daily report and we'll see what it basically will look like. So this is the report. Let's just view this report. So this is the report over here. As you can see, this is a sample daily report. And over here, we can see who created this report and who gave the permissions and stuff like that. So down below we have the reports by template. So basically we have some templates about how that report will look like. So let's just click on this sample daily report over here and see how it will look like. So select the template and then simply click on create a new report. And over here, this is how the report will look like. So over here, this is the work log. Over here, you can add work log and you can add the crew, the worker, the total hour and the work performed and stuff like that. And down below, you have materials. You can add materials by clicking on the add material button and you can add the material, its quantity, units and comments and stuff like that. Then we have equipments, we have signatures and then down below, we have notes for keeping track about the quality of work or if you want to add a specific note to the on the report about a specific individual whether he or she has done a good work or a bad work or stuff like that and then over here we have references we can add references about the report by taking photos or tasks or documents or snapshots and then that is basically it and once you have created a report and added all the details just simply click on submit and your report will have been submitted so now let's move on to teams at the end over here and over here basically you can add different members of your team so you can add an electrician or a construction worker or a woodworker or frame worker and stuff like that and you can basically add in yourself so as you can see i've already been added and i'm the admin so let's just enter in a team member so click on add team member and over here you can just simply add in the email about that person and then you can add in the permission level down below whether he's a collaborator or a power collaborator or an admin you can add different permission levels to different team members as you see fit. And then once you have done that, let's just simply click on add team member. So I'm going to go ahead and add an email. So I've added this email over here and I have have added the collaborator permission to this person and then just simply click on add team member. And as you can see, this team member has been added and now we can move on with the main part of this video, which is sheets and how we'll be able to create different sheets or blueprints and how we can edit them. So just simply click over here at the top and click on sheets. So when you click on sheet, this is how the website will look like. And over here, as you can see, we have all these different blueprints about different floors. So we have this cover, we have the floor plans, we have reflected ceiling plans, we have the interior elevations, we have wall types and details, site plans, lightning plan, schedules, power plan, HVAC plan, HVAC schedule details, we have plumbing plan and stack diagrams. So, so we have all these different plans. So let's just go ahead and choose one of these and let me show you how you can basically edit it. So let's just choose this one over here, which is called floor plan. Give it a few seconds to load up and this is how it will look like. Now over here, as you can see, we have a lot of things going on over here. This is basically our floor plan. So as I said before, as I mentioned before, the, as you can see over here, these markers such as the GL and over here, we saw another one. Let me just find it real quick. Like this one over here, the WR. These are some of the issues that I mentioned back in tasks. So whenever someone views this plan, they can see where those tasks are required and basically assign them to. So we can add different elements. So as you can see, new window shades vary in sizes due to existing conditions. See as built dimensions for each window noted on the sheets. So as you can see over here, we have added a note for the person who is working on the windows to have a various amount of sheets. So 
this is how it basically look like and over here on the right side we have a couple of different options so we have the first one which is the mouse which is the select option and then down below we have multi select which means that we can select multiple sections about this plan so as you can see i've uh, selected uh, quite a lot of plans and once i do that we can delete all 26 of those or we can archive three of those or we can unpublish 26 of those and over here we have some different types of details about all of them so 11 of these items have hyperlinks one is a camera makeup three is a stamps highlights two of them are clouds text and then five of them are text elements and then one is a line so that does that and then we have a cloud as we can see over here now this is how the cloud is going to look like so basically double sync chained to single bold stakes per owner's request so we basically we can also add a cloud to let the person know who, that there is an issue or there is not an issue or if it is perfect or such as that and then we have the line tool basically an arrow as we can see over here we can use this arrow to point at th different things and then write notes towards that particular item or uh, that section of the diagram to let the person know that is working on those sections what needs to be done and which things need to be fixed or better and then down below we have all these different options and then we have this link option basically when we select this like over here i'm going to draw this circle and once i've drawn this circle we can add different links to this circle so if anyone clicks on this circle and i've added a link they will be redirected toward to this link and then down below we can also label and add descriptions to this circle and stuff like that so let me just go ahead and delete it for now because it looks out of place and that is basically it and then you can just simply once you've made edits to a sheet you can just simply download that sheet by clicking on the download button over here at the top and that is basically it and then down below you can jump to different types of sheets so as you can see this was the four plan this was the a201 sheet let's just click on a00 sheet so this is the first sheet let's just jump to the final sheet so that is basically it. it's that easy to jump between sheets guys so now you know how you can basically edit it but how do you basically create a sheet so go back to sheets and over here just simply click on upload sheets and over here you can upload sheets basically you can you will have to take a scan about you of your blueprints or your sheets and then just simply upload them over here on this website and that will be it and over here we can set up our project timeline we can add different dates we can also add sheets over here by quickly adding them by clicking on this button we can quickly add our team members Members, add an address to the site that we are working on and stuff like that and over here we can see we have some project works we have nine overdue tasks nine ongoing tasks and nine unassigned tasks and that is basically it guys this was a brief overview of this site how basically you can add create and edit different sheets or blueprints on plan grid so if you have any questions related to this website or this video please let me know in the comment sections down below and i will be sure to get back to them as soon as possible and having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye